I've had a partner in broadcasting for 25 years, and I can't go by without introducing Mr. Ted Leitner, one of the best broadcasters you've never heard. He's great. As it said in, in, in Craig's release and the entire media relations department that I'm going to be an ambassador, I would ask of you from now on if you would refer to me as Mr. Ambassador or Sir. <laughs> Cronenworth, high fly ball, deep right field, climbing a the wall there, car rush, ball going, ball long gone, grand slam, Manny Machado. You're going to say, why, why, why are you doing this? There isn't really one reason. Uh, there's there's not really a, an epiphany of, of a moment I thought, you know what, I, sh I should not do this anymore. This, that's enough. There really wasn't a, a, an aha moment or a, that's enough. It's just kind of a com conglomeration of things that happened uh, and in my mind and in my age and in my health and other things. And uh, I, I just uh, thought, honestly, the full package of when we get back to 162 and, and hopefully we do that, as Major League Baseball and the Padres in particular, that uh, I thought 162, as they football and basketball, and I've been doing all of that, thank God, by knock on wood and loving every second of it, but I thought there has been times when I thought, you know, that's a bit much right now. So to give up football and basketball make no sense because that's football charter up, charter back, you're home, and basketball is, you know, going for, in terms of the road games, a flight, a game, and back as it used to be in terms of the format, which before the COVID uh, situation and all that. So I thought if I'm gonna give something up, probably it will be 162 where you still have a charter flight. It's wonderful. And, and the club takes care of you so much uh, that uh, you're still gone for a week. And if I was to show you pictures, I have them of my grandchildren. It's just the comment I get is, oh my God, Gerber should call and use them as, as a model. They're gorgeous. They're simply gorgeous. And it is, I wish for all of you, by the way, that you have this experience. I've had seven children and I love them all dearly. The grandchildren thing is just mind boggling. Your knees get weak. It's like you stare at them. I'm staring at them and thinking, oh my God, I love this person so much. And the idea of the baseball trips and being gone like that, it was that way for me and my kids, and I'm sure it affected our relationships and certainly my relationships with my wife slash wives. So uh, I don't want to make that mistake again at this stage. I want to be home more. And this was the one to keep the Aztecs, football, basketball, and I have a contract through 2022 with them, an extension they gave me. Thank you, J.D. Wicker, last season. And uh, that's my plans for right now. So. That's it. I was asked to do this when I was at another radio station that had the rights at that time in 1980. And I've been there since 78 and was doing just the Aztecs, football, basketball, and morning sports on 715, 815 on the Hudson and Bauer morning show and the TV on Channel 8. So when, they, when Jerry Coleman was named to be the manager, they asked me to fill in for that year or year, depending on how long Jerry would be there. And with his pitching, we knew it would be you know, an hour and a half. So he did the one season, operated on his stomach, took out the ulcer, literally, and then he came back. So I expected it would be a few years. It turned out to be one year. Now here's Jerry coming back. He's the director of broadcasting. Ballard Smith, the CEO, and Paul Palmer, may he rest in peace, was the general manager of the radio station at that time. And they could have said, thanks for the year. Bye, bye, bye. And they didn't, and they didn't. And right before Paul Palmer had his car accident and was killed last year, Fortunately, he had sent me a text saying, hey, I never have thanked you how much you did for us in business and ratings and money at KFMB. I said, I texted back, Paul, I'm not in my 40th year, which it was at the time, without you keeping me, keeping me with Ballard Smith and, and everybody else and Jerry Coleman, who and Dave Campbell, Jerry and Dave could have said, hey, this is us. We're, we're partners again. You go back and you, you do television alone. And I would have totally accepted that. But they were so great. So many people have taken such great care of me in my career and life that they said, no, we'll do a three-man thing. And we did. There's no way that I thought it could be 40 years. I thought it would be a year or two or three until Jerry either got tired of it or resigned himself. And uh, that's exactly how it came down. Not a, not a thought it would ever be a career year as the voice of the Padres. It's been such a gift. Cobran on the curveball. Caminetti, big time play, throws from his goal. Oh, my goodness, what a play. Every time he does another one, we thought he's made his all time best and unbelievable. 
one of his most memorable calls happened in game one of the 1998 World Series. A deep right field, that's fair, it's gone, and it is going and gone. Home run, Anthony Keith Quinn, 4-2 Padre. So I'm very sentimental, very sentimental, very emotional that way. Uh, from a familial standpoint and from any attachment that I have and relationships that I have. And going to a game will be very, very difficult. Going to the press box is something I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do at least the first year. I wouldn't go in the booth because I wouldn't you know, put pressure on Jesse or hang around there and do that. I would never, ever do that. But uh, going in the stands to answer your question, it was 1979. And uh, just you know, between the 5 and the 11 o'clock TV news on Channel 8, I would go down and I would uh, watch a few innings either in the press box or in the stands. And then I'd go back and do the 11 o'clock live on, on, on Channel 8 and on the TV news with the highlights and all that stuff. So I haven't been in a stadium to watch a game in a long, long time. And the ultimate team player has just set the ultimate individual relief record in baseball history. How about that? 479 saves for the great Trevor Hoffman of the San Diego Padres. The one-two pitch. Outside corner, strike three call. 500 saves. 500. Count them. Boy, that's a big number up on the scoreboard out there. The records don't matter how many winning seasons for the Padres. I swear to you, it doesn't matter. I just love it. The play-by-play and I will miss it desperately. And it'll be very different, no question, to start a game and not be doing it after 41 years. You'd miss anything you did for that long.